Nicky here, Rubik's Seas Customs. This is our latest project. Um, we picked this tank chassis up off Banggood, um, it's like 35 Australian dollars, which came with the gearboxes and the motors. Um, we then fitted it up with a couple of cheap speed controllers from there as well, they're about $10 a pop, and mounted up our Hobby King uh, six channel radio gear. And then we ended up making um, a couple of little magnet posts for the body that we've designed up, which we'll show you in a second. And then we've also gone through, we've painted the wheels, painted them up silver, and then we've applied uh, Gelux to a product, it's a rust paint, which we've used on our hot rods before. Um, gives it quite a nice rust effect, it's actually got iron paint in it, so it actually gives real rust to it. Um, and over time it gets darker, it gets lighter, it depends on the humidity, it's constantly changing. Um, giving this a bit of a run, and it's it's been okay. Um, the biggest issue we've had is the tracks actually popping off because of course there's not really much meat in here holding them on so we may look at designing something that's going to hold a little bit better and also sort of holding these little nubbins into the actual drive wheel because at the moment they're really only there for a guide where we could also put extra uh, drive gears inside there so that's going to pick up off there and give it a bit better drive um, but then again $35 you can't expect too much these are the batteries we picked up from Hobby King. Um, we're running dual batteries. We're running dual ASCs. We could have run two together, but we actually run one runs one speaker driver, one runs the other. Um, these both fit perfectly inside the bottom um, battery tray, which was there. Um, they're just a 2S 950 milliamp pack, um, nothing too fancy. I think they're about $9 each. Nice and cheap, you know, if you break one cheap, throw away, get another one. And this is the body here. We got this design of Thingiverse. I'll link in the description for that. Um, we modified it a bit so we could open, open out here for the tracks um, and fixed up a few little issues that were on the actual mesh itself. Um, we also shortened it. Um, we've also designed up these mirrors in it there because we actually snapped that piece out there because it was quite thin because of course we had to scale this down a little bit as well, the suit. Um, we've also put in, put in some lights um, And then once again with magnets, magnet posts, a um, couple of little three more screws in here which help locate it into the center. And of course the light uh, wiring we've all sort of epoxied it down so the tracks don't grab it and rip it out. Um, so far it's run, it's run fairly good. I mean, end of the day. It's designed to look cool as well. I mean, $35 tank tracks once again. They were, I, you know, I wasn't expecting it to perform amazing but they've performed pretty well. Um, the stuff we've been sort of running it on is probably a little bit, in terms of scale, it's probably a little bit overkill. Um, we're, you know, running it up rivers and up big hills, but we're going to try to find some flatter surfaces to run it on once we've done the changes to the tank tracks that we're looking at doing. Um, so yeah, it's come out pretty good. Everyone seems to be loving it. Um, once again, the body's been 3D printed and as you can see here, it's a copper filament, silk copper from x 3D here in Australia. Um, and then we've laid up a couple of different colours of paint. There's uh, greys in there, there's some purples, some blacks and browns. And also the rust paint, which you can start to see, it's sort of starting to come through all the different layers now. It's starting to get a really cool effect. You know, once again, this rust paint, every day you look at this, it's changing. It's constantly changing colour, the shades, and rusting through. And you can see the bed's rusted up nice. Um, we used a little bit of rock salt on there as well to sort of give it a little bit of texture, like it's bubbling up through the paint, which it's worked great. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we did break a little bit off the back. You can see how I've just fixed it up there from constantly dragging on the rocks. Um, probably was bashing a little bit harder than what I should have, but it's what it's designed to do. Um, so yeah, here's some more videos of it running. If you guys want to pick up any of the parts, I've linked everything in the description. Um, I'll also upload this body file to Thingiverse if you want to, you know, do something similar. Uh, like I said, it was a body I've pulled off Thingiverse, chopped it and sort of just tweaked it up to work for what I wanted to do, um, made the holes for the lights front and rear, and then yeah it comes together very well. So hope you guys enjoy the video, um, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, it will help us uh, build more, more of these sort of things in the future. Um, so yeah, hope you guys have a good new thanks.